How are you guys doing? Good, Good to see you again. Awesome. And this is your second uh, woodchuck. Yes. Uh, his name is? Snurd. Snurd. Groundhog and woodchuck? And whistle pig. Whistle pig. Whistle pig is the third one. If they actually do whistle to, you know, distress calls or if they're calling their family. I can smell them. He probably has a triad of scent glands back mm -hmm. here. That uh, when they show themselves, no, he's not doing it like a prairie dog would. I'm uh, palpating here for a, a testicle. The, yeah, we, we generally can tell boys from girls by the anogenital distance. And that's what I've been going by. It looks far enough that I think he's yeah. a boy, but. I'm just not able to tell yet. Look how patient he is. What a good boy you are. What do they eat in the wild? So mostly roots. Um, and fruits and vegetables, and then they mm -hmm. go into people's gardens and stuff like that. Truly, how much wood can a woodchuck chuck? They actually don't chuck wood. Though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do any chucking of wood at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's being very good. This is very good. So, as a um, uh, one of the larger members of the squirrel family, his front teeth grow uh, throughout life like a rabbit's do, but his back teeth do not. Uh, still, I want to check and see what his dentition and back looks like. This will be a typical squirrel prairie dog type oral exam. Typical except for the fact that he's as big as a dog. <laughs> so if you'll hold him for me. Here you go. Snurd. Snurd. So how did you come up with that name? It goes with Mortimer. Oh, it's Mortimer. Mortimer and Snurd. Okay, Mortimer see I don't... It's a British thing. I don't know it's it either. Not, it was... Edgar Bergen had okay. a ventriloquist stomach named Mortimer ah. Snurd. Mortimer Snurd, got it. I do remember. Okay, good. Now we're getting some molars. You can really see the resemblance to a prairie dog in his eyes and face and his little Roman nose. Mm -hmm. 